Alright, hello guys, it's me, Clock, and today we're playing Devialtheon, a game made by Nemle, the same creator as The Coffin of Andy and Lele, No Good Noel, and a couple of other games I played in the, the channel, like Better Half and Candy Scaps. If you haven't checked those out, definitely check them out. I'll have links to check them out, but let's get right into it. It is going to be a visual novel, by the way. And if you're hearing the Coffin of Andy and Lele music, I'm using it because it's non-copyright, and I'm pretty sure the game, the original game is not copyright free. So you'll just be hearing that music just like how I did and um, just like how I did for No Good Noel, you'll be hearing this music. All right. Hopefully, we're not going to bone a clone of ourselves in this one. Oh, great Devile Theon, please hear our prayers. Oh, God. I would, but you're not Lin. Well, there's Devile Theon. Uh, <laughs> this is a very active god. My sincere apologies. Lin has come down with a fever. But I assure you, I've been serving this temple for years, and I'm every bit as capable as... The fuck you are! Get me Lin right now! Yes, my apologies, at once! Uh, okay. Some brat opens the door. Some brat. Yeah. Good day, we need Lin at the temple. So what? The brat closes the door. God bless! <laughs> hey! Mero, quit joking around! You'll get us all killed! Uh, hello. Sorry, Lin. Devile Th Theon won't hear me out it after all. It's asking for you. Ah, uh, alright. <laughs> Alrighty. Quite, quite the start. So, off to work he goes. You <laughs> called? Ah, oh, I guess you really are sick. Try not to die. I will. Will what? Die? I will try not to die. Good, good. Say, what do you mu miserable humans need from me now? Wait. Uh. <sighs> Lin pukes. This is the worst offering I've ever received. Uh, I'm so sorry. Never mind. Carry on. I'll eat it later. <laughs> uh, what? So, what did the great Devile Theon say? It agreed to vanquish the flying monster. Wonderful! Praise the Devile Theon! It'll choose... <laughs> Choose a sacrifice within the next three days. I see. I'll let everyone know. You go home and rest. Thanks. Oh, and Anan? Enan? Anan or Enan? I'm gonna say Enan, I think. What is it? I left you a surprise at the altar. Crush mark, crush mark, crush mark? <laughs> okay, so this world has a god that's very active. Okay, that's cool. And he like he took a liking to Lin. Just so you know, this little village here sits in the middle of nowhere. If you've ever been to nowhere, you know there isn't anything there. Except nothing. There's a whole bunch of nothing. Nothing, and then this stupid little village no one has ever even heard of. It doesn't even have a name. That's how insignificant it is. The only reason this village hasn't completely vanished off the face of the earth is because of Devialtheon. A magnificent, glorious, beautiful, wonderful, fearsome, great, and incredibly benevolent deity. It protects this piece of shit village and the crappy humans within. And all it asks in return is a human heart or two. <laughs> Hearts are Devialtheon's favorite snacks. Ah, yes, yes. Devialtheon is the best thing to ever grace this land. Uh, I feel like that's why the village is kind of small. Uh... <laughs> proceeds to vomit like the exorcism. <clears throat> the following ev evening, Lin gets a visitor. What? Well, is this some... some schlub? You're High Priest Lin, right? Yes. Can I help you? Um, well... Are you cold? Are you homeless? 
Sit down anywhere you'd like. What? Looks around. Little brother, what are you looking at? That's just my brother, Mero. Do you want him to leave? No, that's okay, I guess. Say, so, what can I do for you? It's just... Ugh, this! Rip shirt open! Ugh! Brand of sacrifice! Do you think this is what I think it is? A hideous new tattoo? No, that's not what that is. That is the mark of the great Devile Theon. This man is a lucky one. Hmm, yes, I'm sorry. Damn it. I thought so. <laughs> damn it! God damn it! Um, please have a drink. Lynn offers the bawling man a bottle of wine along with a glass. A bottle of wine! He just gives the whole thing. He's like, this guy's gonna... This guy's gonna be here for a while, isn't he? But the man must have missed the glass since he pours the liquid directly into his mouth. Reasonable. He is... I believe... I If, I, if it's what I think it is, he's gonna lose his heart soon, so... Some of it drips onto the carpet, never to come off again. God fucking damn it. Use a cup, man. Never mind. What will I tell my wife? And the kids? What do I do? Devile Theon has chosen you, my friend. You will do what you have to. I'm very devout, apparently. It's going to hurt, isn't it? I believe so. Ha <laughs> ha. Who's gonna do it? It's either me or High Priest Rando. Do I at least get to choose? Who would you prefer? You. I've seen what a sloppy job that Baldy does. Bald! Then I'll do it. Thanks. I guess. You should go to your wife. Yeah. Why does he look like homeless though? <laughs> He's just gonna lose his heart, but did he have to be like... Did he have to have like stains on his on his like shirt and a patch in his pants? Like why? Man, I can't get out of this, can I? I'm sorry? Oh well, that's it then, huh? Spent my whole life working, this is it. What a useless life that was. I'm glad it'll be over soon. Don't say that. Your sacrifice will ensure the safety of safety of us all. It's a very noble way to go. Uh, but why me? Lin can't come up with a polite way to tell this guy to get lost. This sucks. Fix me a real strong drink when the time comes, okay? <laughs> I love- dude, I love when the music's like this. I can do that, yes. You better. Aw, nice little conclusion there. And off stumbles the man with a bottle of red wine in his hand. Wait, he stole my bottle! It wasn't even his, but fine, keep it, you petty thief. We'll all be glad once you're dead. <laughs> I mean, dude did just walk into my house, take a whole bottle of wine, get annoyed that my little brother was in, my, in his own house, and then just left after complaining to me. Alright. Is he gonna make it home? I certainly hope so. Yeah, can't have him die on his own accord now, can we? Mero. What? Was I not supposed to say that out loud? Let's not start this again. Fine. All I'm saying is that you could offer animal hearts to your god. Mero, please. He doesn't like those. They're too small for Devile Theon. Oh, great Devile Theon! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a fanatic. What? There's plenty of those to go around. What makes that guy's heart so much better than a cow's? Or a pig's? You know, good question. Pig hearts are pretty similar, I hear. Neither you nor I have any say in that. This is so stupid. Runs away. You see, Mero isn't that smart. In fact, Mero is a drooling moron. You'd have to be a moron not to worship the great Devile Theon. The sole savior of this village! The kind and gentle god! But Mero doesn't. Therefore, Mero's a moron. Can we sacrifice Mero? Hold your horses? Cause I already have a very strong feeling Devile Theon's gonna ask for Mero soon. 
Moving on, they hold the ritual the very next evening. Oh, that's fast. Snappy. I like it. Uh, hey, Lin. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> hey, Lin, feeling better yet? Much better. Thank you. <laughs> I heard you puked on Devile, Theon. <laughs> no, not exactly. I puked on its feet. Devile Theon has feet? Er, I mean, where its feet would be? Ah, details. Who cares? Do you think I could perform the ritual this time? The sacrifice asked me himself. Man. Well, maybe next time. Ha ha ha. What you looking for? No, nothing. Marrow isn't here. Ah. <sighs> And there she comes. Hello, Enan. Good evening. The sacrifice has been captured. Wait, captured? Oh, he ran? Ha <laughs> the music. <gasps> yeah, yeah, the usual. Sudden bright idea to make a run for it. Yes, thank you so much for not lifting a finger, Rando. Really helpful. Eh? You'd make an old man like me run. So heartless. <laughs> I saw you running just fine yesterday. I wasn't as old yesterday as I am today. <laughs> that is such a load of bullshit. Alright then, I'll go prepare the sacrifice. Oh. Looks like you had some second thoughts. Who wouldn't? Listen. My wife just gave birth to our second child. She needs me. Uh-huh. Lin nods along to the man's pleading. But he doesn't actually listen. He's been at this for years now. And he has heard every sob story you can think of. You might also think- You might think Lin has become jaded, but the fact is that he never cared in the first place. <laughs> He's just a murderer. He's just happy to be a murderer. <laughs> to him, strangers and their tragedies are just some stranger's strategies. That's the kind of person he is. Berries or vanilla? Honestly, it tastes the same anyway. Only the scent is different. So, kind of like tea. Or at least the tea from Old Margaret's store. For that price, you'd think. The man doesn't care about Old Margaret's store, nor tea. He's at death's door. He doesn't give a rat's ass about the quality of some goddamn tea he wouldn't be able to afford if he wasn't dying, even if he wasn't dying. But it's not tea that Lin is offering him. Here. Huh? Drink. It'll make you brave. Uh. The man drinks as he is told, briefly wondering if he would have preferred the berry version. Perhaps he cared a little bit after all. Oh! Devile Theon. Maybe I'm like a conduit. Maybe I'm like a, um, like a demigod for D Devile Theon. But his mind doesn't stay intact long enough to reach a conclusion. Uh, actually incapable of caring about people I don't personally know. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are like that. I think it creates a lot of hate in the world. A lot of lack of empathy. Um, especially when those people have never had anything happen to their family yet. It creates a lot of problems. I think, personally speaking. Because then once that person actually has, like, a family member die, they finally start to, like, under Like, someone close to them. I shouldn't say family member. Someone close to them die. Then they finally start to understand what it's like for other people. But until then, they don't, like, care at all. Like, it's not good. It's not a good thing. But his mind doesn't stay intact long enough to reach a conclusion. I want you to know... That everyone appreciates your selfless act. I want you to know that you are lucky. That's the thumbnail right there, by the way. You get to be one with Devile Theon. And off they go to the merry, jolly, happy, fun, ritual murder party. Ah, so that's what's fucked up with this one. I love it. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Everyone's happy. Everyone's dancing. Everyone is wearing masks with big, nice smiles on them. I don't even need a mask, I'm just smiling already. Sure, the masks made it a bit difficult to drink, but they were absolutely necessary to keep the mood pleasant. You see, sometimes people forget what a joyous event this is supposed to be. 
especially the family members of the sacrifice, tended to bring everyone down. But not tonight. Everyone is on high spirits. They are all singing and dancing and chanting. Devile Theon! Devile Theon! Devile Theon! Lin's dagger glim glimmers as it's lifted up. Oh. I think I did the deed. And the man's still beating heart is offered to Devile Theon. It eats it with great delight. Everyone cheers. They're so happy that Devile Theon is happy. How nice. Everyone is so nice. They party through the small hours of the night. God bless. Eventually, everyone goes home. Lin looks especially graceful as he slips on some ice and lands on his ass. Can't quite get the key to work. Mero! But Mero doesn't care. Lin spends quite a while attempting to unlock the door. Gets to the point where his fingers go numb from the cold. But alas, he gets the door open. What the fuck, Mero? Mero, you heathen! Where are you? Mero? Mmm... I can't believe you! Why weren't you at the ceremony? Because <clears throat> I caught your stupid cold! Alright, first save! Let's go! Uh, okay, so we're gonna go full... I guess in this route we'll go full evil? We'll see what happens. That doesn't matter. Do you have any idea how disrespectful you're being? Ugh, get over it. I'm tired. I don't care. What kind of example do you think you're setting? Oh, well, the high priest's brother didn't show up. Why should I? It's only the ritual that allows this village to remain in existence. Like, it's my fault I got sick. You're the one that carries all this flu crap home from the temple. So, I don't know. Wash your hands more often, Mr. Holy Man? Fucking true? Holy shit? Dude, Lin, come on. He's got a point. Wash your fucking hands. You're the person that's seen people. I see. But even so, Mero, that man just gave his life for this village. For you. It's really important you show up to appreciate that. Is that what you call it? Huh? He gave it? Not like you took it or anything. Don't be like that. I wish there was another way too. I kinda doubt that. I really do. But as things stand right now, we don't have a choice. You chose to be a priest! Because I had to! Oh, right, right. Keep telling me that. You just had to. Poor you. It has nothing to do with, say, money. And who do you think I make that I make money for? Whoa, whoa, I... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this looks straight out of... <laughs> this is like straight up what they did uh, in another game. Hey. This is like exact frame for frame, isn't it? Well... Looks like he, uh... He re Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shouldn't have raised my voice at you. Hey, hey, chat, chill out, chat. Chill the calm, chill down, chat, okay? I really hope this isn't like the... I really hope this isn't more incest, okay? I don't think it's gonna be that, though. I think we're just gonna be killing in this one. If it's similar to the Coffin of Andy and Lele, I think it's more just like the murderous vibes. Kind of like more like candy scams. So, um, good night, Mero. Yeah. Look, Mero, I'm very devout to my lord and savior, Devile Theon. Lin feels a little down about choking his brother. It's not like the little shit died. He's just being dramatic. Sure would be nice if this house had some parents in it. But that is something to reflect upon another time. Huh. Why is no parents? Did, uh, did Devile Theon eat him? It is a brand new day. What a glorious day it is. Devile Theon has defeated the flying monster that was looming over this useless village. So as this village is... I bet you forgot all about the beast already. No, no I didn't actually. And I was going to mention, so is this like set in the same world as maybe No Good Noel? Where there are monsters and shit out in the world? Is this set in the same world as the Coffin of Andy and Lele? I mean, they said it's in the middle of nowhere, so... But don't feel bad. It was the only very it was only the very reason that they sacrificed that man after all. All is well now. Thanks to the great Devile Theon. Lin, my favorite. I was hoping you would visit today. 
Yes. I wanted to ask you if the ceremony was to your liking? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I'm very pleased. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I'm very pleased. So pleased, in fact. I have a gift for you. Hmm? Come on closer. I won't bite. <laughs> Is he just always there? Like, just chilling? Is he like a king? Or does he leave and come as he goes? Like... I'm quite full, thanks to you, my precious, my pet. I said closer, you little shit! I made this just for you. Hey, that's kind of cool. Go on, put it on. This isn't made from the sacrifice, is it? Does it look like human remains to you? Rude! It's from my old bones. Do you... Bo bones? Do you... Um, you have new bones then? Obviously. Okay, this is... I gotta change it. I gotta change it. Wait, okay. <laughs> that's that's not the right music. Obviously. Yeah, it's like teeth, you know? He just has a constant supply of baby teeth. So, do you like it, my dear? Oh! I like where this is going. I like where this is going. Well, um... <laughs> it's unlike anything I've ever been given before. It's not just beautiful. Those bones still emit a bit of my aura. So don't be too thrown off if the creatures start running away from you. I don't feel anything, though. Yes, well, humans here are used to my presence. But outside the village, anything that's conscious will run for its life. That's how fearsome I am. <laughs> now, why would I ever leave the village? Ah, you wouldn't. But that's not the point anyway. I'm giving you a token of my affection, you dumb bastard. Appreciate it. Hee <laughs> hee. I do. I just don't know what to say. Say thank you, O oh great Devile Theon. I'll forever cherish this holy blessing from your divine grace. Thank you, Div. I'll wear it every day. Wow. Call me that again and I'll crush your skull. <laughs> Nothing worth mentioning happens for a while. Nice and peaceful days go by under the loving care of Devialtheon, the benevolent. And soon the seasons change. Summer has come with all its disgusting bugs and mosquitoes. And the humidity. Oh god, dear. Oh god, merciful Devialtheon, deliver me from the fucking humidity. True. Fucking true, dude. The nights are nice and cool, though. That's something. <sighs> oh, Marrow. You're still awake? No, I'm just standing here with my eyes open. Clearly asleep. <laughs> Aren't you tired? Of you? Yes. Right, I'll leave you to it. Lynn. Hmm? It's the anniversary of Mom's death tomorrow? Right, it's been two years, hasn't it? Hmm? What? One, Lynn. It's been only one year. Oh. I'm guessing you have work tomorrow? That's right. Yeah, I figured. Um, well... I'm... I have to get some sleep. Good night! <laughs> See you later, nerd. See ya, nerd. That's kind of sad. Uh, the sun is glaring down at full force. Three priests sit in the shade having lunch. Well, two priests are having lunch. One is gazing into the distance, towards the graveyard. So what if she died a year to... <clears throat> Sorry, everybody hydrate. Take a hydrate. Always have some water for these visual novels, you know? So what if she died a year ago? What does it matter if I don't go visit her grave today? It's not like she won't be dead tomorrow, too. Why does it matter if I never go? What is she gonna do about it? Not talk to me? Well, Mero might not talk to me. <sighs> Those are the kind of thoughts he battles with. Everyone in their dead mom knows the correct course of action. Let your sniveling brat of a brother throw his fit. You've got work to do. Lynn shouldn't even be thinking about this in the first place. But no. For whatever reason, Lin has a soft spot for his insufferable little brother. Is 
Is Devile Theon the narrator? <laughs> like, is is he the narrator? Uh, these robes are killing me. Tell me about it. It's the humidity. My aunt said it's humid, humid because of the flooding. I don't know. Maybe. But I'm pretty sure it's the rain. Which causes the flood? No. I think the flood is caused by the ice on the mountains melting. And that's caused by caused by this heat. Whatever. What do you think, Lynn? What the fuck's the small talk? <laughs> hmm? I'm sorry, what? Are you... Are you okay? Yes. You seem a bit gloomy. It's nothing. Or actually, it's my mother's death anniversary. Do you think you could cover for me? Um, well I would, but it's your turn to pray to the great per to the great Devile Theon. Oh, come on. Let the kid go. I'll cover for you, but you'll do my next mass. Thank you. And off he goes, the idiot. On his way down the stairs, he runs into a band of villagers. They attempt to tell him something, but Lin is in too much of a hurry. So they find Rando and Enan instead. Please, hear me out, I'm... Oh, there's a lady. Ma'am, we're on a lunch break. Some goddamn temple this is! Er, d don't mind him. I'm, I'll be glad to hear your worries. It's the crops! All this water is causing them to mold! Oh? We've done everything we can, but if the flooding doesn't stop soon, the whole harvest is ruined! How will we last through the winter? Please, you have to help us! You can all pray to the great Devile Theon right over there. We've prayed. We've prayed our hearts out. It's no use. Let us see the god in person. Please. Please, calm down. We'll all die without food. And so will you. I understand. We will take care of it. I'll speak to the great Devile Theon in your stead. Thank you. God. Is it so hard to just sacrifice another one of the villagers? God! The villagers are satisfied with that and leave. Great. What now? Looks like the great Devile Theon doesn't feel like helping us. Do you think we should, um, you know... Oh, I absolutely think we should offer a sacrifice. My neighbors have an especially n nasty newborn who we could... Oh my god. Oh my god, the merciful Devile Theon! You will not finish that sentence, I swear! Alright, 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 I'm kidding! Let's go see Devile Theon. Neither of you are Lin. Please forgive, forgive us for that. Lin has a family matter to attend to. There is nothing more important than me! I should smack him on the head so hard it falls off. Ah, uh, well... How dare he! Yes, he is the rudest, stupidest boy. But please, hear our prayer. I'd like to offer you my neighbor's newborn child in exchange for a dry spell. Ah! Uh, don't listen to this moron, oh merciful Devile Theon. Talks out of his ass. We need a drought, that's a fact. And the baby is noisy. So I'm sorry for connecting a few obvious dots. No, you just want... Why am I being subjected to watching you two monkeys bicker? Ah, uh, my de deepest apologies. Please disregard what he just prayed for. <laughs> he just wants to murder a fucking kid. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, is the baby really that loud? Like, chat, come on. I think we've all seen a crying baby before. Does the village, you know, also, also good, good on the old man, you know? Is it as bad as killing a fully grown functional member of society? Or a baby that contributes nothing, you know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The baby sounds like the better choice, that's all I'm saying. We only want to stop the flooding. Right. You don't like getting your feet wet, huh? Pathetic humans. 
That, and we'll die if the crops rot. You always die. Too much water, you die. Too little water, you die. Is there a single setback you can handle without dying? Well, that's why we come to you, our beloved Devile Theon. Our only hope, our only savior. <laughs> that I am, aren't I? A messiah for you wretched species. Very well. I'll spare the crops, despite this disaster of a prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Devialtheon, the benevolent. This isn't how I accept my thanks, and you know it. Of course, we will prepare the sacramental hall at once. Good. The faster you disappear from my sight, the better. Just one tiny, small, insignificant request. Oh, just... Okay, sorry, wait, wait. Okay, I can't go back. Give it a rest already. It doesn't want the baby's heart. Don't worry your ugly little heads about that. I'll choose the sacrifice myself. And I know just who to pick. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I was almost 100% sure he was going to pick him. Uh, he's definitely picking Marrow. Hi there. Hi. I'm surprised you showed up. Me too, actually. Heh. Well, I'm sure Mom's happy about it. Stop, chat, please! You're fucked up, chat. You're fucked up. You're fucked up. We're not doing that. We're not doing that, chat. Wait, did I say we'd go evil first route, actually? Is that what I said we would do? We'd go evil? I can't even remember. Chat, please. Ugh. Yes, okay, uh, I skipped work for this, yeah, I skipped work for this, then I would say, is the right choice. I had to skip work to come. Well, yeah, but this is important. I'm gonna get an earful tomorrow, so I hope that you're happy. It's not about whether I'm happy or not. Yes, it is. No, it's about mom. It is indeed, and now that I've shown up, can you stop giving me such a hard time about it? Ah. Uh. Why are you like this? You're supposed to come here because you care about her. Don't you feel anything? Anything at all? I feel annoyed and slightly bored. But I came anyway. Doesn't that count for something? No, it doesn't. What do you want me to do? Yell, hooray, hooray, happy death anniversary, mother. Congratulations for being dead a whole year. Ugh. I can't believe how badly you don't get it. Mero, I did this for you. So when we go home, I don't want to hear another word about how I don't care. You just admitted you don't! Oh, did I? <laughs> okay, my cat's yelling at me. One second. Sigh. Ah. <sighs> just whatever. Let's go home. Oh, that was a nice visit for Mother. And so, they went home. Blissfully ignorant of the consequences of neglecting a god. Meow! Meow! Pettings! You got pets! Pets! Sorry, I'm petting my cat. Okay, she's a good girl. But Lin would soon find out all about it. But not as soon as Mero, who found out about it the very next morning. Ugh! Huh? Mero noticed a dull ache on his chest, as if he had been punched with a dagger. <laughs> oh, shit. Takes a few double takes, but the mark remains. You're fucked up, chat. You're all fucked up. I'm gonna switch this right away. Oh, shit. Do you want coffee? Uh, what? No? Okay. And why even bother knocking? You're just gonna barge in anyway. Alright, alright. Mero decides to collect himself. Last person he wants to find out about the mark is Lin. Just act normal. Okay, one, one second for real. I had to give my cat uppies. I'll think of something. I'm not even part of this religion. 
Just relax. Go drink some coffee. No, wait. I just said I didn't want it already. <laughs> okay, chat. All right, chat. You're you're insane, chat. All right. It had to be done. Chat's acting up. Being weird. <laughs> Are you going out like that? Huh? Oh. Crap. I f completely forgot to change. It's... I'm gardening again today. So, so this is easier to wash. <laughs> I mean, since it's black already, you know? I suppose. That made sense, right? This is normal, right? Say, Mero. He thinks something's up. Oh god, oh shit! Are our crops molding too? Huh? Who cares about that? Mero? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, I'll see what I can salvage. Don't worry about it. It'll be better soon. Enan dropped by last night. She said Devile Theon agreed to fix it. Oh. But, but, I don't... I mean, it's just crops. I don't think it's worth killing someone over. Oh? How did you know there will be a sacrifice? <sighs> there always is, man. B because, isn't there always one? When Devile Theon agrees to help, you know? Well, not always. But yes, this time, there will be one. Speaking of which, Mero, I need you to be present at the ritual this time. Oh, thank god, it's just about that. I know you don't like it, but I'm getting a lot of crap for your behavior. Even Rando said it's unbecoming of me to let you off the hook. I'll... okay. Hmm? It's fine. Look, I need to get to the crops now, so... Alright, thank you, Mero. Yeah, see you tonight. Runs away. Disappear. Oh my fucking god, what am I gonna do? God bless. You might be thinking there's really no problem here. Clearly, Lin is far too accommodating when it comes to Marrow anyway. Standing up god for him and whatnot? But that's just how it is. After all, it's just the two of them now. Their father caught the plague when Marrow was just a kid. <laughs> the plague! Oh, okay, he just caught it. Got the plague. Whoa, Dad! You hanging out with the rats again? Daddy and the other inf other infected agreed to leave the village. So it was bye-bye, Dad. He probably got eaten by monsters out there. Or perhaps froze to death during the winter. Either way, Mero was left behind with his mother and Lin. Mother and Mero bawled their eyes out. Lin didn't seem too bothered, and that bothered Mero. Mother wasn't even bothered that Lin wasn't bothered. Mother didn't bother with Lin much in general. Oh. Several years later, Mother said to Mero, Wait. Don't tell anyone, but I hope that lazy bastard next door gets killed next. <laughs> I swear, he steals our vegetables at night. But it wasn't Mr. Wander that got... Mr. Wander that got sacrificed. It was her. Oh. Who do you suppose did the honors? Uh. Oh, of course. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Our little Lin. Who else? Lin! Lin! That's your mom! Bro! What is that face? Why is he so okay with it? <laughs> We're the reason. Hey, that's not true. None of you are Beanslug. Beanslug was the chat member that everyone liked the most, okay? Calm down. My chat's a little upset they're grounded right now. There's a total of three high priests in this village. But it had to be Lin. Yeah, there's being slugged now. <laughs> oh, he just- Jesus Christ, he hugged his own brother after sacrificing their mom with the blood still on him. That's hardcore, bro. That's metal as fuck. That's pretty cool. Lin's pretty cool. Th they like me? Ooh woo? Yeah, bean slug. It's okay. Said Lin. But Marrow didn't think it was okay at all. God bless. So you see, Marrow doesn't have much faith that Lin would make an exception for family. Everyone has the right to be devoured by Devile Theon. That's what Lin thinks. The vegetables are molding. 
Mero doesn't care. Seems unlikely he'll be around to feel hungry for much longer anyways. <laughs> oh no. Wait, you're not gonna run away? At least run! Well, well. Welcome, my dear. Decided to show up today, hmm? Sorry, just need a little bit of water. That voice hurts my throat. <laughs> I'm sorry for skipping last time. Yes, well, you learned your lesson, I hope. <laughs> what? what? Being slug, please. Please, now. Though you don't seem too upset. What? What is chat? What is chat, dude? Why would I be upset? Huh? <laughs> I see. Boy, was I wrong about you. Honestly, I'm shocked. I'm not following. The ritual is tomorrow evening, is it not? Or at least that's what Enon keeps telling me. Well, about that. We still don't know who you've chosen. Ah? Uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Whose feet did you see? What are you talking about? We didn't see no feet, did we? No. Definitely not for free. Usually it's figured out pretty early, but this time no one has come forth. I see. <laughs> you guys are freaks. You guys are freaks. Stop. I hate it. I know it isn't like you to spoil the fun. But if you want the ritual done in time, you're gonna have to give me a hint. So that's why you're so nonchalant about it. Huh? I thought you already knew who I chose. <laughs> Thanks. Wait. <laughs> you wouldn't have. Wouldn't I? <laughs> Now that's the reaction I was expecting. But why him? Ah, who knows? I get a little jealous sometimes. <laughs> that is to say, Lin. Do not be absent from our sessions again. Oh. This really is the make love with the De Devile Theon, isn't it? Dude, he's just, he's just a... Uh... He's just a great girlfriend. Duh. You're upset, aren't you, my pet? Hmm. Was I too harsh? We're gonna save. Hmm. No. What are you talking about? You know what's best for this village. And best for me. If anything, I'm more grateful than ever. Oh, you are, huh? Of course. Thank you for delivering me from my distractions. With this, I can finally fully devote myself to serving you and this village. Ah, what a bore. Really wanted to see you cry. Perhaps I'll cry from joy. It's not the same. Alright, chat, calm down. Black Baron Blackjack, you're going too crazy, man. Chill out. Chill out. I wanted you begging and pleading. But I pray to you every day. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't ever mean it. Nonsense, of course I do. Ah, uh, I've had enough of you. Get out. Oh, welcome back. What did it say? Huh? Did the great Devile Theon tell you who's the sacrifice? It got banned. <laughs> it's... Actually, I'm not sure. It was all riddles. <laughs> ah, typical. Why does it insist on this hide-and-seek? Perhaps it's difficult to find amusement when you're god. If it comes down to it, we'll just have to check each villager individually. It was a little bit more than that. A little bit more than that. Also, the skeleton demon without appendages, I, I honestly would, honestly would. 
Right now, it's a wood. Sheesh. Let's wait until tomorrow, at least. The sacrifice must be shitting themselves by now. I'm sure someone will notice something is up. Sounds good to me. Lynn? Hmm? I I'm sorry. I think I'm getting sick again. <laughs> again? I'm telling you. We shouldn't let sick people in the masses. They infect everyone else. And how are you going to check who's sick? Well, I'd... I think I'm going home for today. Right. Sleep it off. We have a big day tomorrow. Drink lots of water. Thank you. I will. Lin heads home, his little mind racing. Hey, nice music. Chill. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. It's messing with me. Just wanted to scare me. It didn't actually pick Mero. Mero would have told me. He would have told me, right? Hmm. <clears throat> Mero? But there is no answer. Oh, great. He ran away. No, no, he didn't. He isn't the sacrifice. Where would he run to away any to anyways? To the wilderness so he can be eaten by something else instead? Lin sits on the couch, gets up, but then sits back down again. Gets up a couple more times until he finally decides to stay down. And there he sits for the rest of the day, his thoughts running around in circles. He's still sitting there when Mero finally shows up. Oh, there we go. Ah! Hmm? Why are you sitting here in the dark? Scare the crap out of me. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't notice the sun went down. Ah. <sighs> Well, the vegetables are fucked. I saved what I could, but it wasn't much. Thanks. Sure. Anyway, good night. Mero. Yeah? Can we talk for a bit? Ah, uh, yes. The conversation starter nobody wants to hear. But what's up? You seem a little stressed out. It's just the crops. It sucks. I see. Um, it just pisses me off. I put all that effort in and they brought anyway. You know? I understand. If it's just that, then fine. But you know, Mero, I'm... If something was wrong, you'd tell me, right? Yeah. Of course. The house gets a little too quiet for comfort. Anyway, I have to get to sleep now. Good night. Clock, can we talk for a bit? All right, all right, chat. Give me a second. We're going to pause the game, I guess. Go to options. Have a seat right over there. Yeah. About the necrophilia. Just... I just, I just paused the game for this, and the first thing I see is about the necrophilia. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm never listening to chat again. You've ruined it. I'm not, I, I'm not listening to it. Yeah. Lin could have easily checked if Mero was the sacrifice, but he didn't. He didn't have to. He know, he knows already after all. Can we talk about the dead elephant in the room? No! It was one game, guys. One game where I said it was okay. One game. And he was warm and not dead, really. Okay? No good Noel. That was the good ending. Okay? That's what I'll say. He knows, but just for now, he'll pretend to be convinced otherwise. Rando is dusting the temple stairs with such vigor you'd think he likes it. Oh, hey. Feeling better. Yes, thank you. Any news on the sacrifice? Not a peep. But fear not. Rando throws the broom away with an extravagant gesture. It's my turn to pray today. Isn't it a bit early? Watch me. I'll get the sacrifice's identity out of that thing. I don't think you should push it. I mean... Relax. I'll take care of it. Lin is left alone with a growing sense of unease. Sits down on the stairs to brood. One might wonder what exactly is the problem here. 
Mero has been nothing but unbearable this whole time! I'd say good riddance! But Lin doesn't see it that way. He remembers him and Mero used to be very close. Best friends, even. That's how pitiful Lin's social life used to be. <laughs> oh. That's not pitiful, they're just friends as kids, come on. You see, Lin was one of those unwanted children. Oh. Oh. Well, not at first. At first he was very much wanted. His parents had just gotten married and were on their way to their happily ever after. But then mother got ill while pregnant with Lin. She went to the great Devile Th Theon to ask for help. Oh. And the merciful Devile Theon helped her, of course. Devile Theon is the most kind being on Earth, after all. But in exchange, it demanded the unborn child for itself. It was so excited, it had never had a pet before. Mother, on the other hand, wasn't too thrilled about it. But what else could she do? Let herself and the child die? Besides, she could always just make another. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Why are all the parents in these games shit? <laughs> oh my god. So she agreed. Lin was born to serve the great Devile Theon. What an honor. <laughs> why, is, why is that a transparent image? <laughs> Didn't he die to the plague? <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you not remember dad? Maybe that's why mother doesn't, didn't bother loving Lin. Didn't bother loving Lin. Lin wasn't hers anymore. I love that the, the eyes are very reminiscent to the eyeballs and candy scabs, too. <laughs> File missing. She made sure Lin stayed alive, but didn't waste her breath talking to him. In fact, she went out of her way to acknowledge his existence as little as possible. What the fuck? Father didn't think it was right, but said nothing, because he was a spineless people pleaser. <laughs> okay, that might be why we hate Dad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but Mero was different. He and Lin would play together, and overall they had a pleasant childhood. Yes, I love when my brother shoved a wooden horse in my face and put uh, a pine cone sheep on my head. Nice. Well, ignoring all the unpleasant things. Like dad leaving to die and sibling favoritism and whatnot. Look, I'm not I'm saying neither of them were beaten with sticks. As far as I'm concerned, that's a happy childhood. <laughs> Fucking true, man. Fucking Except what do you what about the belt? What about when the, the chonkla gets you? What about when your mom's like, I got the chonkla? <laughs> ah! <laughs> no? Anyone have those experiences? No? Anyway, it was only after Lin officially became a priest that Mero became a whiny little shit. True! So, you're a high priest now? That's right. You'll be in charge of those sick rituals? Some of them, yes. Congratulations. Lin couldn't understand why Mero wasn't happy for him. Serving Devialtheon was ensuring the safety and happiness of the whole village. Sure, there was an occasional sacrifice or two. But it was either that, or no village at all. Lin thought Mero was being unreasonable and naive. Surely he'd grow out of it. Kind of true. Nope. Because, like, at this point, you're kind of stuck serving him. Unless you know of some way to kill Devialtheon. He doesn't seem like the type of guy that god that would just let you stop serving him. Like, if you just said no one wants to sacrifice anymore, I think he'd just kill the whole village off. Nope. Anyway, that's why Lin isn't so sure whether to stab Marrow or not. What am I to do? Can I beat him in a dance-off? True, he will honor the dance-off. Killing Marrow will prevent a famine. Not killing him is just me being selfish. Save the crops, betray God. Well, let's save again. Uh, well, I mean, we're gonna save the crops. We're a- We're a man of the people! We're a high priest! Save the crops. Why am I even thinking about this? It's the same as ever. I'm just being sentimental. That's no good. Devile Theon is testing me, and I'm failing big time. There you are. I was looking for you. Hi. How did it go with Devile Theon? He asks, as if he didn't know. Oh boy, I'm sorry to tell you this. Devile Theon told me who the sacrifice is. It's your brother. Oh. Sorry. 
Lin doesn't know how to react. Should he pretend to be shocked by the news? Seems like a huge bother right now. You okay there, kiddo? Hmm? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm fine. Sorry you have to go through this again. Again? Uh, like, with your mother? Oh. Oh, right, I did that. <laughs> He's like, you little shit. <laughs> He's like, you little shit. I know you're a psychopath, but still. <laughs> Well, anyway, there's no Mero- there's no way Mero comes willingly. That's for sure. Will you come with me? To get him? Are you sure? I can go grab him with Enan. Enan. I'm gonna say Enan. Enan sounds better than Enan. No, no. He'll probably run away at the sight of you two. Let's just go get him. Right now, it's still early. I know he's home right now, so... This is a little bit weird, the music. Let's just bring it back to the start. Yeah, that. Yeah, it sounds a little like that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is going to get messy, isn't it? If he starts a ruckus, we'll have to knock him out. You have no mercy, huh? What was that? It's old man mutterings. Ignore it. God bless. Are you sure you want to do this? Hmm? I know it's difficult. No, it's fine. Are you sure? Stop asking me. Oh, brother. Are you gonna let me kill my brother or not? Mero is surprised to see them. He's clearly expecting the priest to come after him much later. Possibly after he had miraculously come up with an escape plan. Um, what's up? Look, we know it's you, kid. What are you talking about? Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. No, no, wait. It's not me, I swear. Lin, it's not me. Mero. Not you, huh? Then show us you don't have the mark. <laughs> no. In a desperation, Mero attempts to push aside the old priest to get past him. You know what, actually? You just gotta do what they did in Final Fantasy 16. Fucking rip the skin right off where the mark is. It's the only way to do it. That's how they did it in Final Fantasy 16. Then, then you could just say, Oh, this? Oh, I just accidentally spilt scorching hot coffee on my chest. And, uh, yep, burned my chest off. Yep, that's why it looks fucked up. But Rando has dealt with this kind of thing plenty of times. He gets Mero in a headlock. Thank you for your cooperation. Let me go. Mero struggles in panic. Ah. Uh, oh, wait, no, sorry. <laughs> I just accidentally chemically burned myself, priest. I'm really into knives. Yeah, true. In this rural kingdom. Somebody has to, okay? Someone's got to be the scientist. <laughs> Sorry, it's not the kid screaming. Ah! Oh, ow, ow, ow! Lin! A little help here! Lin helps Rando grab Mero. They start dragging Mero to the temple. He's kicking and screaming the whole way there, but it's no use. People stop and stare, but the instant Rando asks them for some help, they all become extremely busy with looking at the clouds. Mmm, yes. Fascinating. Might it rain tonight? That'd be bad. Mmm, yep, yep. <laughs> That'd be bad, we did just have a flood. Several bumps and bruises later, Mero is thrown into the temple's wine cellar. Oh. Now behave, or we'll have to tie you up. You don't want to spend the last of your life being unable to move, right? I mean, that sounds pretty uncomfortable. Imagine getting a runny nose from crying and not being able to clean it up. That's just gross, you fucking idiot. Thank you for your input, Rando. Did you have to include the fucking idiot part? God. <laughs> so now what? I'm to sit here until evening waiting for my death? Yes. You can help yourself to some of our wine. Mero isn't old enough to- What does that matter? The kid's about to kick the bucket anyway. It's brilliant. He won't even have to suffer the morning after. I'm telling you, red wine gives me the worst hangover. There was this one time- I don't give a shit, old man. Ha ha ha. Your loss. It's a great story. I'm gonna see if- Enan has, has shown up yet. 
actually, it's such a great story. I'm going to tell it anyway, you little shit. Uh, so it was like 15 years ago during the harvest season. Jesus. Rando stays behind to mercilessly torture Mera with his boring ass story. Damn. Right on cue, Enan appears. Enan appears. God, I can't say it. Here I am. So you are. We've captured the sacrifice. Oh? Uh huh. Could you check that everything is in order in the sacramental hall? Sure. Who's the sacrifice? Sorry, I have to vi I have to visit Devialtheon. Oh, okay. Um, I'll see you later? Yes, of course. Question mark, question mark, question mark? Lin, Lin, little thing. What brings you here? Is the ritual starting already? You should know I prefer it at midnight. Drink some water? No, no, I just wanted to tell you we're ready to go once the sun sets. Why would you tell me this? It's not my problem. I just want to eat. The logistics of the ritual are on you. I know. But I thought you might want to know anyway. Considering who the sacrifice is. Now why would that matter? Surely I can trust my precious pet to do as it's told. Of course. Then what is this? Did you come here looking for a praise? I came to pray. Oh, well go on then. Devile Theon, I... I find my heart wavering. I think I'm sad. Duh. What should I do? You do as you're told. How you feel about it couldn't possibly be more irrelevant. Doesn't that make me spineless? Luckily, I have enough spine for the both of us. <laughs> Fucking true! He's all spine. He's all backbone, baby. That's what we love about Devile Theon. He's all the backbone the village needs. <laughs> if that was all, leave. I want to relax before dinner. Yes. Well, right, right. I'll see you tonight. See you tonight, babe. The decision has been made already, yet Lin is still undecided. He wonders where it went wrong. But also, if this really is for the best. It has to be. After all, Devile Theon has decided this. Lin will surely become an improved version of himself through this. Truly, Marrow has been but a hindrance. Yes. After this, there will be no more baby brother to pamper. Only Devile Theon to worship. Just as it should be for a good servant of God. Yes, yes. What a happy day this is. Wonderful day. A day of absolution. The ritual isn't for the crops at all. It is a gift for Lin from Lin. An offering for Devile Theon to forgive Lin for wasting all these years. Lin is ready now. Ready to receive grace. Toilet flush! Thank god. I was wondering where the toilet flush sound effect was. Ugh, Ashley's still flushing a toilet right now. Ready to receive grace. With newfound determination, Lin makes his way down the temple stairs. You feel determined. He's feeling certain about himself. But is then struck by Enan's sorry face. It's not child murder. It's not a murder. It's a sacrifice. Get it right. There you are, Lin. Is something wrong? I saw who the sacrifice is. Lin, I'm so sorry. Uh, just what he didn't need. Did you find me just to tell me that? Huh? Oh, well, yes. I was just worried. I know it must be hard on you. Yes, so what? Excuse me? Yes, it is difficult. That is precisely why it's called the sacrifice. Uh, I, I know, but... Enan, why'd you even become a high priest? I... Wh what do you mean? It's been years now, and I haven't seen you perform the ritual even once. Oh, ha ha ha. Ha ha, indeed. It's always me or Rando. Mostly me, because Rando is awful at it. 
<laughs> he sucks ass. He's old man. His hand is not steady. Sometimes he just stabs the heart before he lets it. He takes it out. God damn it. <laughs> An ethical murder. The village decides on it, you know. That's how laws are created. It's for the right reasons. It's for the people, by the people. Child sacrifice. Hail to vile, Theon. It's just, I thought I could do it, as long as it helps people. But I just don't have the stomach for it. I know you don't. This is a village full of wimps. 400 people whispering behind my back about what a terrible person I am. Yet once the ritual comes around, everyone is so glad I'm here. Let the terrible one do the terrible deeds so you don't have to. Don't say that. <laughs> you know what, Enan? Enan doesn't want to hear it. She has had enough of Lin's holier-than-thou nonsense. I can tell you're... I can tell you're not in the mood to talk. <laughs> Which was false. Lin was definitely in the mood to talk. In fact, these are probably the most honest thoughts he has ever shared. Keeping to himself is what Enan had liked about Lin. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! Oh, what a bitch! Okay, I was I wasn't gonna say anything, but that's that's a little fucked up, man. That's that's fucked up. I thought she was gonna be an actual friend. This is not the correct music to play for this. This is like This is like this music. This is like it's over. <laughs> dude, what the fuck? <laughs> that was a little fucked up. I'm not gonna lie that she said that. <laughs> She's like, what I liked about you most is that you stayed, shut the fuck up. <laughs> is that you shut the fuck up, Lin. God damn it. Now you're not shutting the fuck up. <laughs> Keeping to himself is what Aenon liked about Lin. But now she sees his true colors for the first time. And boy, does she find them, uh, does she find them ugly. What did you expect, man? This guy sacrifices people no matter what they say. Maybe if you weren't also incompetent, Deviletheon wouldn't be so focused on me. Maybe if it wasn't so focused on me, I'd be allowed to make some mistakes. Kind of like you. All you do is bumble about making one fuck up after another. But when I so much as slip, God rains punishment upon me. Lin, I'm sorry. About what? It's thanks to that I get to better myself. I get to become what you should aim to be. I, I think we should end this conversation here. Am I going- am I making you uncomfortable? Yes. No, 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 no. It's just I still have a lot to do before the ritual. I see. Um, s see you later. That's one bridge burned right there. But it doesn't matter. Humans don't matter. Fuck humans. Lin needs none of them. Just only Devile Theon is worthy of his time. Praise Devile Theon! My, my skeleton god! <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, my fanaticism was showing. Rando's mouth is still running a marathon. His captive audience looks less than thrilled. Oh, welcome back, Lin. Hello. We should decide who performs the ritual. Yes, have this conversation right in front of the very person you're about to kill. Nice. Me, right? Are you sure? I mean... Can you? Rando, how many times do you think I've done this already? Uh, plenty. And you still have to ask? Oh, <laughs> No, no, I meant since it's Marrow. I thought it might haunt you. The only way it's going to haunt me is if I let you do it. Can't believe how hard it is for you to kill someone. Do you miss the vital organs on purpose? <laughs> He's shitting on this guy too. Good. Only priest needed is me. Sheesh, kid. That was a little uncalled for. It's only like nine out of ten times I miss. Devile Theon doesn't matter a little sloppy heart. It's trying just as I was just trying to be nice. I would kill your brother for you. Yes, very nice of you to offer to kill my brother. Thank you, Rando. Look, kid, I can appreciate you're not feeling your best today. But don't take it out on your friends. You only have two. Enan is probably missing you right now. Yes, she probably is. Mm. 
And sloppy, sloppy heart. That's what I said. I'm performing the ritual. Be my guest. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that. Are you always like this at work? I don't want to talk about that. How are you? Can I get you something? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Actually, no. I do know. You'd prefer vanilla. Wait just a moment. Lynn prepares Marrow a drink. Marrow realizes Lynn probably has the keys. Maybe you could hit him in the head with a bottle and make a run for it? <laughs> Here. What is it? It's a drug. It'll make this easier for you. You mean easier for you? Hmm? I'll be high out of my mind so you don't have to see me miserable. And you'll play the music so loud you can't hear me scream when you rip my heart out? <laughs> you have it all figured out. <sighs> what? You know, I kind of expected this to happen sooner or later. Oh? Yeah, doesn't surprise me at all. Though I'm still disappointed all the same. Lynn puts the drink on the table. Suppose you can wait for a few more moments. I'm sorry, Mara. Oh yeah, you look real sorry. Not. I am sorry. I hope you won't hold this against me. <laughs> you're really gonna ask that. You're really gonna... You're really gonna ask your brother not to hold murdering him for your... Really, your horrible god? That'd be some feat, considering I'll be dead. Maybe so. Still... If I could, I'd do things differently. No, no, you really didn't, actually. You actually I actually chose every option. <laughs> so do it! Hmm? I mean, we can. I just chose not to. Let's kill someone else instead. <laughs> well, you certainly changed your attitude. Shut up. Listen. You can hide their face. And pretend it's me. That's not gonna work. Why not? It's not like God knows what my heart tastes like. To say you can't stand looking at my face or something. No, I'm sorry. Come on, why not? I'm sorry. Why not? This needs to happen, Mero. While I'm torn about it, I... Real fucking torn, you're smiling! Mero, this is what I do. I love you to bits. But I'm a holy man first, and your brother second. Ha! Huh. A holy man, huh? You fancy yourself a saint? No, I mean I've devoted myself to Devile, Theon. Fuck you, Lin. Take your halo and choke on it! Mero takes the drink from the table and downs it in one go. Ah! No, I wasn't done talking. <laughs> Ugh, damn it, Mero. Lin tries to shake Mero out of it. Oh, what the fuck just happened? But Mero's mind is already on a higher plane of existence. <sighs> well, I, I mean, he's at least drugged out. He probably won't be kicking and screaming this way. What a heartwarming sentiment to leave me with. Poor Mero. Come on, then. Lin walks Mero out. Yeah, we've uh, we've definitely dilated the guy, the buddy, the little boy. We drug that little boy up. We're gonna we're gonna rip his heart out. For my god. They walk past the sacramental hall. That's right, past it. Not in it, or to it, but past. And they continue all the way down to Devile Theon's lair. Altar. Not a lair. He's more fancy than that. Then the one it uses to talk to the high priests. Hello? I already told you, I want the ritual done at midnight. <laughs> Why is that here? Devile Theon, this is my most prized possession. Um. I want you to have it. That is very sweet of you, my pet. But you're overlooking one thing. You can't give me something that's already mine. <laughs> no. Until midnight, this is still mine. Bullshit. I put claims on it. But you haven't claimed him yet. Amazing. Simply amazing. I've never been so annoyed and endeared at the same time. Heh. <laughs> I'm giving you something very dear to me. If you don't like it, do what you will. Ah, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Though I'm still expecting a ritual tonight. 
Of course. Wouldn't it be fun to pick someone from the audience? Heh <laughs> it would. A little surprise to shake things up. Fine, have it your way. You could sacrifice your brother here in private. Oh. That's what you want, isn't it? Yes. Thank you, Devile Theon, the Benevolent. It's not like I find the ritual grotesque, but... Except you do. Now hurry up before I change my mind. As you wish. I'm sure you're smart enough to figure out what happens next. I don't have to spell it out, right? You get it, right? Surely you know that Lin did the very thing he just announced he would do. If you figured he'd mercilessly murdered Mero... Congratulations! You're exactly right! Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured. I expected to see it, though. I'm really surprised he didn't show it off. He did it with a big, bright smile on his face. Of, of fucking course, the murderer himself. And his drugged-out little brother screamed in pain, completely unable to understand what happened. Have you ever been high or in a state of an adrenaline rush? You're hyper-focused on the very instant that your existence in that moment. And that moment drags on for a small eternity. Now imagine, if you will, being in such a state. Then having your heart gouged out. Truly, Lin is an awful brother. <laughs> Devile Theon was pleased to have such a little, loyal little worshipper. Yeah! Oh. The weird, the weird god route is complete. That's the ending. That's the ending, baby. The end! Well, we're gonna go for the other endings. <laughs> okay, so, uh... Ending one. Marrow dies, and we're dating a god. <laughs> ending one. Marrow dies, and we're dating a god. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, you know, sacrifice your little brother, but god loves you. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, let's, uh, let's pick all the other options now, basically. <clears throat> so we'll go back to the original fight, and I'll, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just pick some other things. Okay. I actually like that. I, I, okay, I didn't actually like that ending, by the way. I don't think it's right to choose God. Um, but I thought it was funny, at least. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Um... I just wanted to see what that ending would be like. It wasn't explicit, but, you know, Lin's kind of in a relationship with God in that one. Okay, let's be nice. What's wrong? Oh no, do you have a fever? Don't touch me. Why? Because you're drunk and high and Devile Theon knows that. Knows what? And you reek of blood. I see. But listen, Mero. Now we're gonna be a good brother like I should have been in the first route, okay? That man just gave his life for this village. For you. It's really important you show up to appreciate that. Is that what you call it? Huh? He gave it? Not like he took it or anything? Okay, this is the same. This is pretty much the same right now, so I'm just gonna skip ahead, okay? It's... I didn't... Um... I, I mean, did you eat anything? Aren't you hungry? I just need some sleep. Is there anything you want? Just some rest. You're hungry, right? Please, I'll make you something. <sighs> what do you want to eat? Rice porridge. Thank goodness. Yo, excuse me? Hey, yo? Oh, it's for me choking him. Oh, I still choked him in this. Okay. Fuck, man. That's fucked up that I choked my brother. I'll let you know when it's done. All right. Try to get some sleep. Oh shit, I forgot. Forgot he choked his own brother. Lin feels a little down about choking his brother. It's not like the little shit died, so he's just being dramatic. <laughs> Kids growing up to do big things! Even cooking rice porridge in the middle of the night. That crap tastes like takes like two hours to make. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but Lin is used to making deals through offerings. Human hearts for safety. And porridge for forgiveness. Must be nice being so simple-minded. It's a brand new day. What a glory. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead. So it didn't change too much that one. So, okay. So it skipped all the way ahead. I hate how autocorrect works. 
<clears throat> I don't have a brother. He's dead. I only have Devile Theon. Okay, so it skipped ahead to when he went to visit his mother. So I skipped work for this. I'm going to be nice and say I'm not here for her. It's still not very nice, but it's nicer than this. It's more empathetic than this. I'm here for him, basically. I didn't come here for her, Mero. Huh? The fact that our mother's corpse has been rotting here for a year means very little to me. That's some way to put it. Why'd you even show up if you're going to be like that about it? Yeah, kind of true. You didn't let me finish. What more is there? I'm not here to visit the remains of some woman who shat us out. <laughs> shat us out. Maybe you. She cared for him, okay? Oh my god! I don't care about her. But I care about you caring about her. I can't make heads or tails of that. Oh well. But thanks, I guess? Mero's happy. Oh, he's happy about that. He thinks maybe his murdering lunatic of a brother is a good person after all. <laughs> there there can be gray, okay? That's a <laughs> There can be gray characters in fiction, okay? You don't have to be black and white, okay? It does not have to be a good guy or a strictly bad guy. It can be gray. Humans are so easily swayed. You're welcome. It's just nice spending time with you. Ugh, stop. Who says stuff like that? <laughs> and so they went home, blissfully ignorant of the consequences of neglecting God. But Lin would soon find out all about it. But not as soon as Mero found out about it the very next morning. Okay, so I think this is the same, so I'm gonna skip ahead, okay? It skipped a lot. It skipped a lot. Uh, I actually don't know what the last option was. So I said no. So I'm gonna say this this time. I'm not gonna answer. It's not like my opinion is worth mentioning. Indeed. I'm just trying to help you. We have to fix that brother complex of yours. Whoa! I don't like that one. It's normal, Devile Theon. It's normal. It's th my what? Oh, that got under your skin, didn't it? <laughs> ah, I've had enough of you. Get out. I don't like that. I don't like that, Devile Theon. It's not a brother complex. He just... He just... is a normal relationship. Nemle, were you a single kid? Did you think all siblings hated each other? Do you think siblings have to hate each other? If they if they if they show any amount of love to each other, that they, they there must be something going on. Is that is that what goes through your mind, Nemle? <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way, Nemle. I'm gonna lurk for a bit. <laughs> I thought you would have went crazy on that one. <laughs> oh, welcome back. What did it say? Huh? The great Deval Theon. Oh wait, I gotta change this. This is too. This is too nice music. <laughs> also, clock. Guess what? What's up? What's up? Guess what? You're going to the bathroom. You're gonna take a little tinkle. That's what's up. Uh, okay. It's actually I'm not sure. It was all riddles. Haha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. I just got hit with that. All right. Well, that's cool. That's fine. Actually, I'm not sure. It was all riddles. <laughs> I'm gonna skip ahead. Uh, see what the next option is, by the way. And we're gonna skip the uh, pick the one that's opposite. Oh, nice! It didn't go that far. I love you, Mara. Uh, thanks. I mean, that's nice. You too. <laughs> At least he didn't say ditto. What is with this response? It's just really awkward, okay? How so? What am I supposed to say? Oh gosh, golly. Oh gosh, Jolly, I love you too. You're the best big bro ever. Yeah, that'd be nice. God. Anyway, I have to get to sleep now. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Geo Studios. Lim could have easily checked if Mara was the sacrifice, but he didn't. Didn't have to. He knows already, after all. He knows, but for just just for now, he'll pretend to be convinced otherwise. Randu is dusting the temple stairs with such vigor you think he likes it. Oh, hey, feeling better? Yes, thank you. Any news on the sacrifice? Not a peep. But fear not. Okay, this is the same. So, so we got a little bit more love, more uh, more actual brotherly love, you know. 
actual like bro older brother should be so let's skip ahead and see what the next thing is so now we have to choose save the crops or betray god i think we're gonna betray god in this run honestly well that might be fun and all what then where would we even go i'm going to be I'm going to be ripped apart by beasts as soon as I exit the village's surroundings. Although... Deviotheon said this would ward off monsters. At least anything smaller than it. <laughs> Did I just compare Deviotheon to a monster? No, 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 no. I didn't mean it like that. Deviotheon is beautiful and wonderful and kind. Some priest I am. There you are. I was looking for you. Hi. How did it go with Deviotheon? He asks, as if he didn't know. Okay, so this is the same, so I'm just gonna skip ahead. So this time, he realizes the charm is probably their getaway card. Let's skip ahead? Sure. What? Oh, okay, all right. So this is when Rando was gonna take my brother, I guess. And instead of helping him take my brother, I just stabbed him in the fucking head. All right. Ah! Quiet. I just wish you told me. What? Pack your things. Huh? Clothes, toothbrush, things like that. What? What? You don't understand. What don't you understand? But I, uh, I'm, what? In, in a backpack? Yes, quickly now. Mero stumbles around in his room, almost tripping over Rando's corpse. Oh, lovely. Ah. <sighs> what am I doing? Um... Are you throwing me out? <laughs> what? Are you throwing me out because I didn't tell you about the mark? My god, no, we're leaving the village! Huh? Deviotheon gave me this necklace some time ago. It'll allow us to wander outside the village without being attacked by monsters. Huh? Then why haven't we left already? Don't be ridiculous, there was no need to leave. Yes, there was! There's a bloody monster living in the temple! Mero. Mero shuts up. The carcass in the room serves as a nice reminder not to anger Lin. We have everything we could ever ask for in here. Well, I don't think he'd... Well, okay. I was just about to say, I don't think he'd stab his brother. <laughs> Dude, I, I was about to say that. Uh, I know the truth. I He would. He would, actually. Take the head as a keepsake? That'll keep the monsters away. That'll keep the people away. Perfect. We have everything we could ever ask for in here. Honestly. I'm more than a little miffed we have to leave. Well, I could just go by myself? Ha! Huh. Sketchy things. We need to hurry. <laughs> I mean, that's an option. Meanwhile, Enon shows up to work. Here I am! But no one answers. <laughs> Guys? Weird. Are they both praying? She wanders around, but there's no sight of Rando or Lynn. Did they bail out on me? I'm gonna have to tell Deviotheon we don't know who this sacrifice is. All by myself? She envisions Deviotheon's fury. Idiot! Moron! You pathetic piece of human filth! This bloody village has barely 400 people. How can you not find one sacrifice? No! A lower level priest approaches her. Wait, there's other priests? Shitty priest. Is something wrong? I can't find Rando or Lin. You don't need to worry about that. They went to pick up the sacrifice, I think. Rando said he found out who it was. Saw him leave with Lin a while ago. Oh? Who is the sacrifice? I don't know. I was just passing by. But I think Lin knew them, though. He looked pretty down about it. Lin did? Enin finds that to be curious. She doesn't recall Lin ever having feelings sad over any sacrifice. In fact, Enon found it creepy how little Lin seemed to care in general. Well, except when it came to... Ah! Uh, it's Mero. It has to be. Who? Lin's little brother. Ah, uh, I hope everything is alright. When did they leave again? Like I said, it's been a while. Enon gets a bad feeling. It shouldn't take this long. Lin's house is just around the corner. Oh, it's taken this long. You got everything? Probably. Mero. Huh? Pull yourself together. 
I don't want people asking why you look like you've seen a ghost. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Everything is fine. Just leave it to me. Right. God bless! Not anymore, bitch. They leave home, leaving Rando's corpse to rot on the floor in the summer heat. Doesn't matter. Lynn knows people will figure out what he did. He doesn't plan to stick around for the consequences anyways. Nice. Fuck that shit. Two of them make their way to the village's gate. People keep stopping Lynn to say her hellos and ask about the coming ritual. Everyone wants to know who the sacrifice is. Lynn just smiles and says he doesn't know yet. <laughs> Hydrate. He exchanges pleasantries as if nothing is wrong. Makes Marrow feel really uncomfortable. Right as they are about to exit, familiar face shows up. Ah. Ah. Lynn. Oh, hello, a Enan. You look worried. Something wrong? Huh? I'm... I can't find Rando. Where are you going? Rando went to pick up the sacrifice, I think. And it turns out we're low in mushrooms. I'm gonna go grab some, so we'll have enough for the ritual. What are you talking about? That's not your job. Send someone else. Mero said he knows a good spot nearby. We'll be right back. Cut the shit, Lin. Um, It's Mero, isn't it? Lin doesn't answer. He's busy calculating whether Enan would let them go. It seems unlikely. Don't do anything stupid, Lin. You of all people know how it is. Sorry. Sorry, my ass. You're such a hypocrite. How many little brothers did you kill already? Oh, come on, man. He killed his own mom. Come on, you can't pull this card. He already killed his own mom. Come on. His dad literally got exiled from the village. Come on, you can't you can't pull that, okay? It's not like you're any better. You just stood there and watched. And other people tried to run, okay? He didn't say you can't chase after him. He he did it. He fought back, okay? Did other people fight back? Okay, that's what I'm saying. How many little brothers did you kill already? But oh no, God forbid we sacrifice yours. Enan, I can see you're very upset. <sighs> yes, I'm upset. You're not the stupid Lin. There isn't even anything out there. You're running off to die. And you're leaving us to die too. Lin figures this conversation has run its course. Not to mention, Mero keeps fidgeting about as if he's expecting Lin to change his mind now. I just wanted that in the video. Coming in ropes of black tar. Yeah. Lin turns around to open the gates. However, Enan hadn't come alone. Next to her are some priests, other priests Lin never bothered to get to know. One of them grabs Mero by the collar of his shirt. And roughly one instant later, two screams echo across the area. This is not the right music. Oh. Oh, uh. Oh. There we go. This is much better music. Okay, there we go. There we go. The man is screaming because Lin just stabbed him in the eye. Mero is screaming because he is a little bitch. I suppose he was surprised seeing the man get stabbed. <laughs> Reasonable, uh, you know. Still, Enan was plenty surprised too, but all she did was gasp. <laughs> damn. Besides, Mero already saw this happen with Rando. God damn. How many times do you intend to be shocked by the same thing, Ra God damn it, Mero. Anyhow. While everyone is busy screaming and being surprised, Lin pulls Mero away with him. Turns out, Enan was wrong, and Lin is exactly that stupid. The other priests had every intention of following Lin and Mero in case they ran. But when push came to shove, they chicken out. None of them fancied the possibility of getting new eye piercings. All of them were suddenly extremely worried over the wounded one. <laughs> He's not dead? Bro, how did, that sword, that wasn't a dagger, that was a sword. At least a short sword, and I stabbed in that dude's eyes, okay? Yep. No time to chase the sacrifice that's going to save our village. <laughs> Love these visuals. Uh, mm, I wish there was more. I wish there was more. But this is one of their earliest games, so it makes sense. This random guy we're not even friends with is the highest priority now. Well, maybe some of them are friends, but let's not fuss over the details. <laughs> True. Lynn and Mero get away with no further incidents. <sighs> are are we safe? For now, probably. Let me just... But I'm sure they'll send someone after us. My guess would be hunters. They know how to move around here. So, Mero, we need to keep going until we're outside of Devile Theon's influence. Huh? There aren't any strong monsters this close to the village, thanks to Devile Theon. 
That means, as long as we're here, people will surely come after us. But I doubt they chase us to where they're monsters. Great. <laughs> they catch their breath for a moment, then continue on. Meanwhile, Enan's party has retreated back to the temple. The injured one is being treated. He's in an equal amount of pain as Enan is in distress. I can't believe this. Lin of all people, that hypocrite son of a bitch. <laughs> that fucking asshole. High Priest Enan, what should we do? Uh, I'm... I'm just... Has anyone seen Rando yet? I don't think so. Don't tell me he ran away too. <laughs> Enan sits with her head in her hands. How do I break this news to the great Devile Theon? Um, should I? Do you, need me, do you need me to come with you? Enan is tempted. Sharing the blame sounds good. No, no, I'll do it. Amateur eye surgery and a lobotomy. Thanks, though. <laughs> she smiles at the others and goes to visit the altar. Hello, hello. I trust you're here to tell me the ritual is ready to start. Oh, toilet flushing! Oh, no! Ashley, stop! Actually, um, uh, about that. <clears throat> the benevolent Devialtheon looks absolutely menacing. Takes every shred of courage Enan has left to tell Devialtheon what happened. I'll spare you from what went down afterwards. Enan lived to tell the tale, though. Wow! You know, but it'll be years before she's actually ready to tell it to anyone. And how lucky Devialtheon was to spare Enan's sorry soul. What did he do to her? After all, from here on out, she's the only high priest available. Good for her! <laughs> oh. As for some others. Lin? Hmm? What will happen to the village now? I wouldn't worry over that, Mero. How can I not? The village is pretty sturdy. Could take a flood or two. Huh? What? God, Lin, no! I'm talking about the people! Oh. Oh, indeed, you basket case. Is everyone gonna starve to death because of me? <laughs> Villagers, too, will be fine. They will? Yes, Devile Theon is very kind. I can't believe you're still saying that. But it is. This isn't the first time we failed to deliver the sacrifice. There was this girl who killed herself before we could sacrifice her. Oh. But do you know what? Devile Theon forgave us. Instead of the girl, we sacrificed her whole family. <laughs> well, I mean, but what about your family, Lin? What about that the village? Your family's either gone or dead already. What, you... what are they going to sacrifice instead? Lin fully intended that to make Mero feel better. It didn't, though. Don't worry. The ritual will be held with or without you. Devile Theon will keep everyone safe and sound. Just as I will keep you. Mero found that a completely unnecessary parallel to draw. <laughs> nice. We'll have track. <laughs> that was funny. I liked it. <laughs> Personally, I liked it. So that's what happened to Lin and Mero. They chose to leave behind the nameless village. Journeyed from the middle of nowhere to the edge of somewhere. Lin is certain there exists other villages. Mero just follows. He has no idea what else to do. So perhaps this is a happy ending for them. But what about poor Devile Theon? It was heartbroken. Poor thing. How could Lin do that? Devile Theon had so much faith in him. Even gave him the means to escape, trusting he wouldn't. But what do you know? Humans are the scum of the earth. True? After all the love and care Devile Theon had given Lin, this is the thanks it got. Devile Theon was absolutely devastated. Wouldn't let this one slide. You just watch your back, Lin. One of these days, you'll get what's coming to you. But until then, enjoy the delights of living on the run. And that's it. That's the story. Surely there was some grand adventure to follow, but I'm not going to tell it now. So settle for this load of bullshit. Everyone lived happily ever after. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure they did. Unfortunately, this one's not that good. Uh, I don't like this uh, end scene. Th this one's not as good as the one where it's kind of hanging out. That joke in the game flew over my head. Um, I mean, I like it. I like this, that they lived. It really is like a... I guess they lived. It, it worked out. Hmm? What's this? 
The story is over, but you've been very kind to Mero. Why would you do that? Qua crossed out. Perhaps you're wondering how he feels about all of this. He didn't have any say in it, after all. Well, let me tell you. Despite the mosquitoes, the mud, and the general unpleasantries of the forest, Meru is pleased to find himself still alive. Whenever he happens to glance down at the mark Devile Theon had given him, he's filled with guilt. Perhaps he should have died. Thinking that someone else did so in his stead is a very somber thought. But at least Lin seems to have wanted it this way. So whatever. Meru is alive. And despite the bogs, the bushes, and the bugs, he's happy to be alive. Nice. And that's that, I think. The end. Uh, hmm. So I'm just typing. The end. All right. That was, uh, that, I don't think that's the last of the endings. Oh, no, two endings. Okay, never mind. Two, two endings. Almost 10k words with two endings. Uh, that's, that's it. That's, that's all we got. <laughs> That's all we got. Two endings in this one. Devile Theon is done. Personally, I really, I, I really enjoyed this one, actually. Um, it was shorter than the other ones that we've played. I would say for sure. It's about as long as Candy Scabs, I believe. Um, but this was good. I liked it. I like how they kind of left it like, like as if this got popular, they would have made a sequel story. Which, honestly... I kind of want, like, I kind of want to know what happens, but obviously they're working on, Nemle is working on the coffin of Andy and Lele, and obviously this did not get very popular for the dev, uh, unfortunately. Honestly, this was good, like, this was really good. Um, of course it didn't get popular, so obviously the dev went on to make their next game. Um, I think after this they made something, they made something else. I'm not sure if it was Candy Scams, No Good Noel, or maybe uh, Better Half, but they made something else after. One of those games. Um, the only game left we have now for Nemle is Jack in a Castle. That is Nemle's first game. <laughs> Nemle not nearly as horny in this one. True. Uh, not nearly as horny. I mean, I mean, one of the endings does end up with him kind of banging a god, right? That's literally a spine. He's horny. Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean, Bean Slug? The god is literally horny as hell, man. Look at him. I see at least four horns. Not including the ribcage horns. Why are we jacking it in a castle? So that's the next game we're going to be playing is Jack in a Castle for Nemle. I'm not playing it today. I'll probably play it next week or something. Yeah, the music is not great for this. Yeah, we'll just put in... We'll just replay it. Hey, hey, why did it go up? Turn the volume down. So anyways... Uh, then that, that's the next game we're going to be playing. That's the last Nemle game I haven't played yet is Jack in a Castle. We'll play that next week sometime. Uh, that one I'm going to have to split up into multiple parts, though, because it is really long, apparently. Apparently, Jack in a Castle is, like, like really long. Um, it has, like, eight endings, uh, multiple, like, a lot of, or, like more, than, like, more than, like, eight endings, I think they said, someone, in my chat, in my YouTube comments. They told me it's extremely long, multiple, like, like, five routes, maybe like 10 endings, I guess. Uh, so there's a lot to it, a lot of dialogue, like a lot of dialogue. So it's gonna be like a few hours. So it's probably gonna be split into two parts. Um, so expect that. Um, this will be coming up as soon as I can, put it on the YouTube. YouTube gives me trouble with the Coffin of Andy and Lele. I think, I think just the term, the Coffin of Andy and Lele is flagged on YouTube. <laughs> like so many people have like made titles that are like, like just, so many people have made bad things with co using the coffin of Andy and Lele and uploading it to YouTube that it's just come a flag term that anything is demonetized because of it. Um, but once you get a manual review in, most of the time it'll uh, it'll get uh, like de uh, get monetized again. So that's what I'll probably have to wait on. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it though. I I'm loving playing Nemle's games. I've been trying to play more visual novels in general for you guys. Obviously, nothing beats Nemle. I think they're, like, one of the best. <laughs> uh, just, just in general. Like, just for fun. Uh, I think other visual novels are good. They just don't have that charm that Nemle has. And the banter and stuff that they always bring to the table. They're really great. Um, this has been Clock. And if you didn't know already, we play horror games. Indie games. Visual novels. 
and I'm most well known for my Coffin of Andy and Lele playthrough, <laughs> if you're not already subscribed from that. Um, and if you enjoy those things, maybe subscribe. We're going to be constantly uploading. As soon as the Coffin of Andy and Lele episode 3, A or B comes out, we'll play that on the channel immediately, as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. It really helps me out. Um, have a good one. Peace out. I'll see you next time.